Hello everybody. Well, I uh, just uh, had a ride on that tram, a round trip ride, and an uh, interesting experience it was. And uh, I want to talk a little bit about it. Some thoughts that were running through my mind as I was on the tram. Let me take a seat over here and, uh, and, and share with you. Um, I finished a book uh, last week titled um, Japan, The Childless Society. And the uh, topic of this book was uh, essentially the uh, diminishing uh, birth rate in Japan. How uh, basically j Japanese couples aren't having as many children as the, as the Japanese government would like them to have and uh, the results and the ramifications on the country. And the main t topic of the book was the reason of the declining birth rate. But one side topic that was talked about in the book that I found uh, interesting was an observation that, um, of, of the difference between white collar men and blue collar men in terms of their ability to find a wife in Japan. Now, the, uh, bur the, top, the timeline that this book deals with is uh, around the early 90s, so we're a little out of date, but this is circa 1990s or so uh, time period, and the book observed that white-collar men at that time were having a very hard time finding wives, that uh, essentially wives were beginning to uh, rebel against the, um, the lifestyle that they would live as housewives to a white-collar man basically uh, not seeing their husbands until very late at night, um, having very little communication, having husbands worn out and tired most of the time, and all et cetera, et cetera. And that women, in some cases, wanted more than that. Now, there were uh, dissenting points. There were um, observations that there are many women that like that lifestyle just fine. They like the control that came along with it. They like the uh, having the house to themselves and the like. But for the most part, men were having a harder time finding wives, white-collar men in particular. And uh, the uh, surveys were done on uh, marriage agencies as well as government surveys were done to uh, discover these facts. But what was interesting in comparison was a discovery that blue-collar men were not experiencing the same problem. Uh, workers and uh, tradesmen and the like were not having the same problem finding wives that uh, their um, fellow men in the uh, labor force, in the salary and the labor force were having. And uh, the studies did some uh, um, questionnaires of women asking the women that were marrying uh, blue-collar men versus white-collar men about their preferences. And blue-collar wives basically said that they um, uh, preferred their husbands because, one, they enjoyed having them coming home earlier, and uh, they enjoyed having a husband that would come home earlier in the evening and spend time with his family. And number two, and this is the one that was really striking to me, they found that the uh, blue-collar men were basically more fun, uh, better personalities, uh, more gregarious, more uh, inclined to have a good time, and all that went along with that. Now, those two thoughts, these thoughts, these observations were stuck in my head after I finished the book last week, and I just had an experience on this tramway that was really, to my mind, illustrative of these points. Now, the trip I took down, it's a very small train car. You just saw it in the picture just a moment ago. We can fit about 25 people maybe in there if we pack them in. And on the train ride, on the tram ride over, on the uh, cable ride over, I was with a, uh, a group of um, uh, businessmen that were on a, on a company outing. And they're all white-collar men in their nice uh, polo shirts and the like, you know, with the collars all turned up and the like. And we had a female uh, uh, person operating the uh, car or do, doing a little speech as we went along talking about things. And the ride over was nearly silent. We all sat there. I sat there up at the window, looking out the window. I almost went into a meditative state as we all just crammed across the uh, valley there. Very few words were spoken. Some, some, some little gig, some not laughs, some, some muted laughs. Nothing really too much fun. I know those guys are going to have fun later when they have their drinking party. That's when they're going to open up. But the ride over was very quiet. I didn't think much about that until I started coming back. And the return trip was completely different. On the return trip, I was with another group of men that were on a, not a company outing, this would be more of a trade outing. My father-in-law does this, he's a craftsman, and he gets together once a year with the fellows in his area that are in the same trade, and they go on an outing, and that's what this was. I don't know what their trade was, but they were blue-collar men dressed in the most interesting outfits. I wish I, I had had the courage to turn on the camera. Their t-shirts with the old Japanese uh, characters on them, the beautiful art, the hair was beautiful, just really nice. The butch haircuts and, and you know, big buff guys. These are probably outdoorsy guys that are working outdoors doing something, construction or something like that. Again, we had a female attendant on the, tra on the tram and it was a completely different matter. These men, we're, they were full of life. Uh, they hadn't even been drinking it. I couldn't smell a, a bit of alcohol in their breath in the car at all. But they were living it up. 
They were commenting on things, having fun, joking with each other, flirting with the, the woman that was in attendance, and she was clearly having a very good time. Uh, she was enjoying their, their, their attentions and enjoying the ride over. In fact, she even gave up, and this is really rare, she gave up her scripted speech, which I've heard many times. I take this tram all the time, at least once a month, and I've never heard them stop their scripted speech. She even gave up her scripted speech to enjoy the banter with these men. By the time we got to the end of the tramway and we opened the door, everybody, including me, was really regretting that this was over. This was a fun bunch of guys. So after I stepped out of the train, just 30 seconds before I turned the camera on, these thoughts were clear in my mind. The study showed that uh, one of the problems that uh, with uh, that with the propagation of families in Japan was that women were less inclined to marry and have children with white-collar men who they were uh, found they were not as attentive in the home and were basically so worn out from work that they didn't have the energy to give to the marriage and may simply just lack the personality that they were looking for, whereas blue-collar men seem to have all of that in spades. Now, these are generalizations, of course, uh, you know, all the things that go with generalizations, but there you go. I just saw it in force right there. So uh, what do you guys think? I wonder if uh, the if the white collar men will uh, be here in Japan, we'll uh, take a take a clue from their uh, from their blue collar brothers, and if we might see a new Japan in the future, especially if the women of Japan start demanding it, who knows? Something to think about. Hope you guys all have a great day. Time for me to head on home. All right, bye bye.